Welcome. My name is Jan and I'm your teacher on Easy Deutsch. Before we start, I want to point out for you that that video is also part of the Easy Deutsch Club. In the Easy Deutsch Club, you can watch the videos commercial free and I provide you with extra material. So you can practice your knowledge with quizzes and you can download the presentation as a PDF and can review it wherever you go. So register now for the club, it's free and enjoy your lesson. So welcome to the first part of that lesson, the prepositions answering the question wo, where. So let's start. <laughs> Before we start with the actual prepositions that you can use answering the question wo, let's talk about the case you have to use if you ask for something with wo. If you ask for a noun with wo, you have to use dative case. All prepositions that are used with wo require dative case. Wo has to ring a bell in your head. You ask with wo, where, it has to be dative case at all time. So let's have a look at the actual prepositions. First one, auf. Auf means on and pay attention it has to be connected like in English. On is something it has to be connected like the bird is standing on the stone. Über means over. The difference between auf and über is no connection. So there is at least some air between the stone and the bird. Unter means under. Here it doesn't matter if there's a connection or not, it's both uh, possible. Vor means in front. So like the bird is standing in front of the stone, der Vogel steht vor dem Stein. Hinter, behind, so der Vogel steht hinter dem Stein. In means inside, always inside of something. Der Vogel ist im Vogelhaus, if you want to, im Stein. And we have as well neben. Neben means beside. So left or right of something. Der Vogel steht neben dem Stein. The big difference here between neben and an and by is that means close. So close to something. It doesn't matter if it's in front, behind, to the left or to the right. It doesn't matter. It's just close uh, to something or some uh, body while neben always means to the left or to the right uh, of something from the point of the speaker so an and by the difference between uh, both of them is not the meaning the meaning is exactly the same it means close to somebody or something the difference is when do we use it then? An can be used for people. So an can be used exclusively for things. For example, ich stehe an der Bushaltestelle. I'm standing at uh, the bus stop. The bus stop is not a person, so there, an. If we talk about a person, we have to use by. For example, ich bin bei Maria. So I'm at Maria's house. I cannot use an here because an is exclusively for things. But I can use by for things uh, as well. So for example, ich bin bei der Bushaltestelle. I'm at the bus stop. In English it's just the same. It's a little bit up uh, to you if you use just always by. Uh, it's never wrong. But you have to understand an as well, and an uh, is used exclusively for things, never for people. And both of them mean that 
uh, you're close to somebody or somebody or something is close to something else. And the last one is zwischen, so in between. The bird is in between two stones. I think it's quite obvious with uh, the pictures here. That are all the prepositions that can be used to answer the question wo. So let's do a short recap. What have you learned so far in that lesson? You've learned different uh, prepositions that you can use to answer the question wo. They work pretty much like in English. The only exception is an and by. That uh, is a kind of add, always close to somebody or something. But everything else works like uh, in English, 100% the same. And they always use dative case if you ask with wo, where. Before you go to the next part of the class, I want you to do a task. Write down five questions, starting with the question word wo and the corresponding answers uh, to them using different uh, prepositions. If you're motivated, do at least one sentence of every single preposition here together with a question in front, just to make sure that you really uh, do a question with wo, with where. So write down your sentences and then I will see you in the next part of that lesson. you enjoyed your lesson? I hope so. So if you haven't done it yet, register now for the Easy Deutsch Club and do some exercises for that topic. So I will see you in the club.